This is going to be a comparison of the standard 944 transaxle, this particular one's from a late car, um, and the O1E conversion. So if we look at the transaxle to start with, um, you can see actually the length of the transaxle is the same, um, and so you don't need to cut any of your rear wheel well um, to fit this. So one of the other main differences you should see straight away is that the the thickness of the body, so here it's actually quite a um, slender transaxle and this one really has much more thickness, especially around where the differential is. Um, so these are actually capable of taking up to at least 900 horsepower, 1200 newton meters of torque um, and that's with dumping the clutch and driving it as you wish. Um, so these are really much more robust um, and what the, the kit does is it allows you to fit this transaxle um, into the 944 uh, without doing any modifications and without um, any custom parts. So it's a complete kit uh, which has all the pieces that you need uh, to install this. So the main difference is that it moves away from this uh, rod shifting setup that the 944 uses. Uh, these are common for actually becoming quite sloppy um, and they can have a lot of kind of play and a lot of free play before you actually find the gears which is not a very sporty feeling, um, and by shifting the cable shifter, uh, we're able to bring the throws down, make them all adjustable, um, and really tune the driving experience to make it much more engaging. Uh, so, included with the kit, shown here is the late car kit, but you get the um, aluminium CNC'd and anodized shifter. Uh, you get some trim pieces to make it all work seamlessly with your car, um, and then there's the shifter housing, which works with the cables. So the cables um, will come in here. These are all high quality cables which are PTFE lined um, and so the smoothest and best quality available on the market. Uh, and all of these um, linkages here are designed to make that um, adjustments as easy as possible um, and make make it so that you can tune the shift experience to being exactly what you want. Um, additionally here, to, to fit the transaxle, um, it originally comes with a tripod style joint on the uh, output flanges here. So uh, these adapters are included with the kit um, to convert it to using the standard 944 CV joints. Um, and along with that are some aftermarket um, upgraded um, chrome molly axles so these are going to be much stronger than the originals um, and that really just helps get the length right for this transaxle um, so that everything works seamlessly in the car. So here we've got the um, late car mount uh, so the early 944 central gearbox mount or transaxle mount allows the whole transactal so actually pivot around that single point and um, what actually happens is that the transaxle will move quite a lot under load it will compress the cv joints they'll lock up and then you'll break axles so it's quite common to break axles in the 944 but actually the axles are quite strong uh, it's the cv joints that are the problem um, and that, that problem is caused by the, the amount of flex in this mounting system so the early cars have a dual mount one on either side, uh, and that's much more, um, much superior for this kind of higher torque applications. So uh, this kit actually converts to the same spacing as the early car mounts. So if you have an early car, it bolts straight up. Uh, and if you have a late car, this piece here is supplied. Uh, this goes onto the standard factory late cross member, and you need to weld it into place. Um, but then your car will be converted to the early spec, shall we say. Um, included with these mounts are pictured here as rubber inserts, but there's poly bushes as well included with the kit. Uh, so you can tune them to exactly how you like. And there's also some other parts in the kit to allow you to adjust the stiffness of each of those. Um, included with the kit is the hardware you need to mount it. Um, and there's an electrical adapter and an optional fuel, hole, fuel, fuel hose 
for uh, the late car if you desire. So the kit relocates the fuel filter slightly and because of that relocation the hose between the fuel pump and the filter needs to get slightly longer um, just to make it work nicely. It is possible to use the factory stuff, um, it just won't be sitting in a perfect position. And finally the um, main ingredient for the, the kit is this blind coupler. So over here you can see the original coupler for the 944 um, and this is a, a unit you may or may not be familiar with but it slides along and allows you to remove the transaxle um, and it joins the torque tube to the transaxle. So this uh, new piece, because there's a different size spline here um, on the Audi transaxle, you need a new coupler. Uh, this one's made of really high strength 4340 chromoly um, and you're going to well, the torque tube is going to break way before this does or the input shaft so um, you don't have to worry about this one and lastly um, in the kit is a, uh, a bracket to mount the cables up to the uh, torque tube get them all neatly out of the way uh, there's a few more pieces that bolts and hardware that aren't pictured here but that's the majority of the kit um, and what you'd get if you ordered the full kit uh, the shifters are available in black or silver, um, so just let me know when you order which one you like. Uh, as well, there's an early trim, um, and the, the kit's very slightly different for early on late.